I am here to apologize to all the Ghanaians. I know, I know, I just want to apologize. I did not know that High Life originated in Ghana. That is career, stardom. In our family, we are musicians. Nobody taught me the music. I learned it from my spiritual world. But I dream, I get the music. A British about Kofi Same is credited with over 20 albums and boasts of songs like Yellow CC, Mind Your Own Business, Sofa Sofa, among other hits. The native of Kofi Sokore is reputed for playing a key role in popularizing high life music in Nigeria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ghana. I was not familiar with your game. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for everything I've said behind your back. <laughs> you know, I decided to stop talking about Nigerians, but these guys, they just can't stop to amaze me. They kept doing things that, they just kept blowing my mind, you know? Like how? Nigeria is the only country in Africa that each year their population increases like 5 million people. Each year, 5 million. Each year, they, they born 5 million. So just imagine, that means each year they, they chop like, they, they chop themselves like 1 trillion. Those ones, we know they get pregnant, they are different. Those where they do abortion on the low, they are different. And those ones where they, they born, where they, they die, they are different. But those ones where they born, where they record, are 5 million children each year. Because each year their population, they increase 5 million. 2021 Nigerians, their population was 213 million. 2022, you can't reach 218 million. 2023, 223 million. 2024, you increase 6 million. So you can reach 229 million people. Even the 29 we do on top, that one served the plenty past Ghana population. Now recently, Ghana population jumped good 33 million. In Ghana, our population in 10 years before it increased like maybe 2 million or 3 million. No wonder you guys have been saying Ghana is a small country. And because they will not plenty, you know, that is why everybody want, if they get money, they won't make people see that them get money because no matter the money you have over there, if you know shout, nobody will know you. If you do business, if you know over shout, nobody will see you. But one thing is that when a population, they help you in terms of everything, music, movie, everything. You get it. In Ghana here, we know plenty. Now only 33 million. And we know they chop ourselves anyhow. I think so. You know, my grandfather is from Nigeria. That man born 70 children. My father, they talk, I think it's in a lie. But the way things come, they go. Now this morning, I kind of check Nigerian population, how it increase. It shocked me. Five million. That means in the next ten years when I will reach like three hundred million. Hey God. Hmm. Like hi. Only the one who come on casa. I'm a you. I'm a you. I'm a deal. I'm kind of someone crank casa. I'm a deal. Oh, I be mum kind of. I be mum say. Oh, look you mum. I'm a little man. Uh huh. Oh, come on, too much. Oh, Virgin, but so eh? One is the one who more crumb more. Anyhow, we do more than I'm going to go. Oh, no wonder some of those are crumb more, sir. Hmm. The thing where him they talk, it they make sense. Honestly, it they make sense because of uh, I have my reason. He say it they make sense because what Nigerian populations, the population is not the matter. Now they terrorizing. Now it's the matter because the attitude more the population they come and the kind of attitude some of us Nigerians are like they are now adopted very very bad talk about criminal bad habit um, many many things <laughs> the world goes so far the world goes so far let me tell you this one, they don't need to travel out from uh, Nigeria to another country. If they could in Nigeria, they would torment the war. Let me they tell you. In Nigeria, they could in. Then they would torment. The best thing for you people to do now, you people should wake up and come and assist Nigerians and fight, bringing better government. It no be so. 
Nigerian will terrorize the world as well. because more the population they come, the bad bad one they are producing more the bad one, the bad one are coming in, the bad one now are more they are even they are even more more they are more more than the good ones now. Imagine how can you tell me that uh, uh, six years, seven years now I become Melonia in Nigeria and the relative the parent and people are not asking how does he manage? How did he manage him to get the money? How did he? Nobody is asking. Nobody cares to find out. What the people care to find out, they are happy. Say uh, they are living in mansion. Almost every Nigerian dreaming, they want to be in big house. The right Mercedes Benz, even women, everybody had it too. Almost everyone. So now, I'm, I'm asking myself, what will happen in the next 20 years to come? In the next 20 years to come, what will happen? Because if you visit Nigeria today, there will be a place where there is no building, nothing, nothing. By the time you travel, come back again, that place don't have a look. The place don't full up. Not just a place. You don't know, see one, one, one people. The place go full up. That's what you will see. That is the Nigerian you know today. No, no, I don't know. Because I keep on passing. And the worst, you know, the people who go suffer are more so, Naganian so. Yes, because when Nigeria is bad, people want to travel out first. Their location began. <laughs> and Ghanaians, you are ready to be welcoming criminal and uh, prostitute, Ashao, and all those things. You should be ready to welcome them now. Just now, because uh, yeah, your location, people are seeing it. They are not seeing different locations. Okay? Oh, yeah? Watch this video, okay? Since you are Nigeria for a two, a ba, a dema, a kokrana, a fenetinibuno, omu economy, no. Afia, see, Afia, see, Afia, see. Now Nigeria, is the fastest and the largest economy in all Africa. This is Oma crash. Ah, this is Omo every first position. Ekoto number three. Oh, Africa. Now the air question is say, this is Oko Nigeria, the richest black man. I will feel Nigeria if no down go to. Ne cement, ne ne companies, ne ne shares in Nigeria no. Omo ashada e targete no e ma papa i e fiasi ha ne ni ama e ye basa o Nigeria ma minchi mu mu dia e happen dangoti e koto refinery machine o pesa o di process oil e o Nigeria petu na o mutu no se de ba ya Nigeria vu bi nyesi ka no mosa sin ya no every year bi ano Nigeria bi timi anya twenty five billion dollars e di e free o mu petu na o mutu no. And this is in a morophono in your access to Petrona, Nigeria for Utuno. Because Nigeria for Aqua Coto Oil Refinery Machine, private citizen, a friend of Dangoti, and I ever will process it. And the Samokaya me a video at last year, no catcher them say, Sam machine ya Dangoti, Diabano. A morophono, a bit too money, a debis in Nigeria, so a Nigeria bear bass about the pass a mokaya. Says you know, a morophono in your fine into Petru. Emi wye petro no. Na se se no mwa nga sa na mwa koto mwa oil refinery machine ya. Na sa oil refinery machine no mwa nga sa mwa pose mwa di protesi ya. Ebe de na mwa rofono. Ebe nya access to mwa petro no ne mwa resources no. Ante di aiba nese ya mwa rofono. E yusu o mwa lida na efe ni tinibu na wa ye pupet no. E na tinibu no e sabu taache dango te no. Ebe bifo. Sa ya ma ya ni anyad na. Na se ya ni anti ya. Ebe jimi sa ha. E nye ye da. Ye. So o man bi ye na adwin so o sole ya na emorofu e pese o mo ka sa o ma ne she eni ntina china fo ne asia fo no se se ba bi o mo duro no emorofu no yo mo hwia enye yi nti o africa na wo nzu so pese nka ade wo no so wo mo ni anya din ya o mbe sabotage o ayu system a wo ntimi mpeja o ko nigeria nigeria fo na adwin yo mo se ye dan gute no e wo problem na wo no na ma o mo economy e hwia se Omosu su ni mse ya morofuna na ya sabotaji because of sa oil na o di machine na ba o pesu o process no. Andi system ha eko si tisewe na jira na no. Omo ekonome no since ya kokura wii. Omo di trabalism. Eko tu abama ya kokura no. A obi di president no. Omo sika no. Di wa esye lusu vali no. Ogyun kokura wun ti asye. Ese wa se na jiri ya kura. Guys you will be shocked what I found out about the president of Nigeria. He is a shareholder and a board member himself and two other family members of a, of a refinery in Malta. The problem they give into Dangote is because 
they want that all of Nigerian crude, most of it anyway, a few percentage of it to be refined in Malta, in a private refinery where the president of Nigeria and a few members of his family are board members and shareholders. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So they're refusing to give Dangote crude oil so they can send it to Malta where the president has shares in the refineries. Mr. Manager, thank you, brother, for your good work. I hope you're doing good. Yes, um, thank you. I'm just listening to your audio and I, I am listening to that Nigerian man that is talking. And I think it's not making sense because when you hear any Ghanaian, he is not praising that Ghana is doing good. I haven't heard any Ghanaian thinking Ghana is doing good. It is the same Nigerian content creators that are in Ghana that putting Ghana on the map as if they are doing as good. But technically, I, like I said, I saw it from, from, from um, um, since it started that no, these things will bring problem because um, it will bring a lot of Nigerians in Ghana. And we're going to have a problem. Why? Because um, the more they talk about it, the more that um, it pushes a lot of Nigerians to come because they think Ghana is doing good. But Ghana, no Ghanaian that has been talking on social media will say Ghana is doing good. We have a problem. That is why when the Ghanaian that talks, no, Ghana is suffering. Ghana is not doing good in any way. Ghana is not doing good in any way. When you hear free SHS, it doesn't mean Ghana is doing good. Ghana, a country that is in HEPIC, a country that it graduates never get a job to do unless they travel outside the country. Ghana is not doing good. The problem is that we accommodate visitors. We know how to how to handle visitors. Ghana is not doing good. That man should stop its nonsense talk and talk re uh, reality. Ghana is not doing good. He should stop this nonsense talk and stop saying Ghana hate Nigerians and Ghana no. I don't want to insult, but it's painful when you hear them talking like that. Somebody is on your neck taking over your land. Yoruba and Igbo taking over your land and you telling us Ghana is doing good and Ghana hates Nigerians. Are you, are you for real? You guys should dream and dream, uh, uh, um, dream and come back again because you are not making sense in any way. We have a problem. Ghanaians are boiling out because of what is happening. You guys are taking over the land and you are telling us Ghana. What a shit. Sorry for my word. Sorry, bro, because it's painful. When the stupid Nigerians don't think and they talk anyhow. This old man, I remember, isn't he the same guy that uh, was telling you that he wants to travel to Ghana and do a uh, amazing work or something isn't the same guy if he is not i heard this same man some time ago on your channel um i'm talking about Igbo, um Igbo tribe and yoruba tribe and praising Igbo people that they are good than yoruba is this same crazy man he should think before he talk we are not happy because ghana is not doing good ghana is in bad state a country that is selling every good things in the land, giving it to um, people and politicians are, are taking properties. A country that is suffering. The Nigerians that come, they should tell you the hardship in Ghana. And you guys talk as if Ghana is well to do. Damn. Ghana is suffering. What are you talking about? The main um, Ghanaians that's supposed to be millionaires the politicians are taking it from them giving it to uh, visitors 
This MPP government is praising Nigerians and putting you guys stupidity mindset. They're letting you guys have a, 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 a um, um, having uh, letting you guys take over things, letting you guys voicing out without retaliation, and we the citizens are getting frustrated, and you are telling us that Ghana hates Nigerians. May God forgive you because you don't know what you are talking about. If other country is taking over your land, if visitors and foreigners are building mansions and houses making the country very expensive for its own citizens making the citizens poor and you are telling us ghana is good which ghana is good what what is in ghana that is good you can tell me and you can bring back the analysis so that you know you are talking fact we are also suffering the fact that we don't fight our government the fact that we don't protest doesn't mean Ghana is good. You better come back again as an old man. Or if you are not old man and you are youth, then you are not making sense at all. Because you don't know what you are talking about. And no Ghanaians think that Ghana is good. Ghana is never good and we are not praising it. It is your own people that are always on social media, YouTube, putting Ghana, think, saying things that has promote you guys to come and choke us in our land. They don't know what you are talking and you talk anyhow think before you talk because you are not making sense at all come again as an uh, uh, as someone who think and think twice don't talk about Ghanaians like that because we are not in competition with nigerians and we are telling you guys that you are choking us and you you are taking advantage and you should stop that is what we are voicing out why don't you do the same crazy stuff in other people's country in africa the things that you are doing in Ghana, if you take the same stuff to do in other countries, you will see brutality. That is what we are talking about. And we have a problem with the things that is going on. How can you both people come and have a palace in Ghana? Does it make sense to you? Because it is not you that you are feeling the pain. You are talking rubbish. Saying Ghana is doing good and uh, the people in Ghana shouldn't think uh, Nigeria will bounce back. What the shit? Do you think we care? Do you think we care? Ordinary Ghanaian have a problem because Ghana should have been a lot better. Stupidity. Come again as, an, uh, as someone who is thinking. And stop crazy stuff. Talking anyhow. You have to think before you talk. As an old man, I, I'm boiling up because of the way you are talking. You talk slow, but you are not making sense. You should make sense because ordinary Ghanaian is suffering. What do you mean Ghana is doing good? Do you know how many Ghanaians that are jobless? That are finished PAD? That are jobless in, in, in their own fatherland, motherland? And you are talking as if that we are well to do. Who told you? You are choking us in the country. You see the Nigerian stupidity, 105 Nigerians doing woman trafficking in Ghana that has been caught and sent back to Nigeria. Are you for real? Are you for real? My guy, talk sense because you are not making sense. You are not making sense. You talk slow, but you talk rubbish. All your analysis are bogus because you are not making sense. None of your analysis makes sense. Then uh, Ghana have 45 visa free country, Nigeria have 25. And so what? What does that got to do with us? Ghana, ordinary person that is talking as a Ghanaian, feel mad because of what is happening in Ghana. The Igbo king in Ghana building village, uh, Igbo village in Ghana. It shouldn't happen because you guys, when you get the 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 the, the, the freedom or you get one percent. Um, um advantage you abuse it and that is what ghana is facing and very soon the nigeria must go to come again there should be a serious protest it is this um a Kufado president that has allowed you guys to be fooling around i'm telling you the fact because it didn't happen only his turn that has we have seen even in nigeria in in the flat staff house in the president's um, um, um office 
it is only his turn that you see a coup for those um um daughter marrying to an uh or 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 or, or having a fornication with a nigerian guy that a nigerian guy can open a 45 business with a coup for those daughter it is only you uh, a coup for those turn that we see this rubbish things that is rubbing in our faces things like this it wasn't happening you will never see um um Igbo person talking even in in, in in public that uh we, we are doing festival and rubbish things. It is really the same people um um, um tenor that we are seeing this. So stop saying all this stupidity and let us have peace of mind because we are never in competition with any other country. In fact, you Nigerians are always talking, that is why you see Ghanaians voicing out nowadays. This nonsense must stop. Uh, Mr. Manager, guess what kind of things, uh, when it's going to be put out? Why are you going to tell your platform, say, that the Ghanaian not helping in Nigeria? Whether an elderly one, or whether a young one. You will not talk that kind of thing. I don't tell you before. You stay this Nigeria before you go to Ghana. Not everybody bad for Nigeria. Just see any elderly man where they commit crime. Just see him before for Nigeria. So we'll not talk that kind of thing. See, make, make it not to say, make it not to talk like that. Maybe say, as example now, you don't get everything, you don't get money. Life will not be like that too. Tomorrow things can change, you can fall back to Nigeria. You know, say Ghana a full year before, before they go back. And not be said, their place is not better. Yeah, go call be like this forever. Yeah, not go be like that. Yeah. What they want, they go change. Ghana go start come back here. Remember that kind of thing. Make I tell you one thing. You know, this guy went play ball for Nigeria before. What they call uh, uh, Uruma. Uruma, not for worry. Now, my brother. When the guy was playing ball, he with the Mokosha, they play for Super Ego. When they play for a club for abroad. The guy was doing well, has money, too much money, billions of billions of naira. But today, Urumo can't even eat food now. He's crying every year. He's saying Nigeria should help him. He man don't broke down, not today and again. Money has finished. All those billions when they pay him for money, they play ball for clubs. He don't get one error again to even eat now. If you see Urumo now, Urumo don't turn hood man, don't turn papa. Frustration, thickness. Person that was in a London, different different clubs playing football. Rumor is no longer seeing road again. Things are very bad for you know, for rumor. If they tell you so rumor go be like this today, nobody go believe them. Uh -huh. Make you know life they change. No use uh, because you get one opportunity. Because they use and they talk down on many not everybody bad in Nigeria, I'm telling you. The elderly people they are bad. Yeah, have you seen any elderly man commit crime? You don't pass these young boys. Follow Nigeria history and Ghana history. Which it happen from 60s. When Ghana go, when Nigeria goes there, they drive there. When Ghana come here, they drive there. See, the thing we keep changing like that. Now in South Africa, the Portugal, Nigeria up and down. So Nigeria not stay there. Uh, let's say uh, African country. If I want to even travel, now I just I can just come and visit Ghana. I say the thing be. If you have people they plan to travel, now you have people go 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 make dollars. Place like US, the Western world, not uh, Ghana. And those kind of places people they think to go. And I know if you pay person thirty five dollar by hour now. Uh, and all those things, uh, all those kind of places where people can make money now that they come. Almost everywhere, he's hot. And I just want to appreciate everybody. My name is Master Manager and Nigerian News. And in case you want to reach out to me, look at my dashboard. My WhatsApp number is there too. You can reach out to me any day, any night. I'm there to respond to you. And if you didn't agree with what they say, you can reply you. Thank you, and I just want to appreciate all of you because everywhere is hot. People are suffering almost around the world, not Nigeria alone, not Ghana alone. Around the world, if you understand that, if you want to help your relative, this is the right time for you to help your relative because people are going through 
people are suffering hardship they keep people in africa you know now people are suffering you no know, i'm not joking here if you want to assist anybody if you want to help anybody this is the right time assist them helping your relative support them with what they needed from you just do that god will bless you i just want to say thank you everybody for your support your like your comment and everything i'll be updating you with what is going on now very soon we are entering nigerian news okay nigerian news too yeah because people have been sending me a lot of nigerian news they say why are you not talking about nigerian why only nigerians in ghana you know what we'll be bringing it in i just want to say bye-bye for now I expect it bye-bye